in this video we're going to focus on how to set the measurement unit in JSPDF and this is very important as well and that will be one of the last ones because from then on we can start to calculate everything so we had here one uh, item open up and this is basically because we need to calculate how many inch or pixels per inch which is what we call PPI and by default 70 72 pixels are usually set for per inch so for every inch we have 72 pixels so that would mean that with that we can start to use and what we want to do here by default it is set here on millimeters so if we go here back you can see here the unit and this is a optional item because by default it will always show on millimeters however you can see all these options here and are we going to take down the inch and the reason why we're going to take inch because commonly the uh, a4 is has the margins usually calculated in inch of course you can do it in millimeters if you want or centimeters whatever would be practical for you but inch is a very good one because later on we're going to use a certain value because of ppi which is how many pixels per inch and commonly it is 72 but it will depend of course on how high your screen resolution is as the larger the screens become and more higher resolution the more inch or pixels per inch there are so that might change although a default for printing usually PPI will be approximately 72 which we have here so later on I'll get back to this because that will be important so in here we can just say different items I'm going to just grab here the uh, inch unit which is I n I'm going to put in here and so we have this set and the reason why we will set this in inch because now we can calculate for example if you want the margin this X amount we can just say one if the margin would be the item, uh, let's say one, one inch, we say just say one. And this one would basically represent one inch and not a millimeter, not a centimeter, not a pixel, but just one inch. All right. So now we have all these items. This is very important. We can now start and continue on to create a margin uh, border basically around on our items. If I refresh here, eventually what I want to do here is give the entire item here a margin. 